We have to talk about James Conner of the Steelers. And, you know, when the season started, it looked like they might get on okay without Le'Veon Bell. Like, maybe they'd be able to make do. But now it's it's looking pretty apparent that they are missing Le'Veon. Yeah, I think that's kind of a touchy subject on Twitter because a lot of people are like, hey, running backs don't matter. And I think that my perspective in general is that's true. Like, I agree with you most of the time, but when that running back is such an integral piece of the passing game, which is what Le'Veon Bell is, I do think that they have a pretty decent impact. And I think that James Conner, we're kind of seeing the effect of that right now. And it is hurting James Conner's stock from a fantasy perspective. His snap rate has gone down each week so far this year. He played just 79% of the snaps on Sunday night. Now, that's not a bad number by any means. That's a really good number for fantasy. But it's also much lower than the 100% of the running back snaps he played back in week one. So I think this is trending down there. Also, just as a rusher, we haven't really seen a lot of success from James Conner recently. That is despite having David DeCastro and Marcus Gilbert back at right guard and right tackle for this week. Just a 33% success rate for James Conner so far this year. The league average for running backs is around 40%. So he's been below average there. He's lost 0.15 expected points per carry, which is also well below average. So I'm kind of concerned here that if if James Conner can't get those issues to correct a little bit. We could see some more, uh, some more divvying up of the carries in the backfield for the Steelers. So I still like James Conner. He's an awesome matchup for this weekend. They're facing Atlanta, who just bleeds points to opposing running backs. So I am going to use James Conner this weekend. I want to be fully transparent about that, but I can't do it so with as much confidence as I would have done done a couple weeks ago. Yes, James Conner is still a very good fantasy asset, but based on the lack of rushing efficiency, based on the decreased snap rate, based on the just okay number of targets, it's hard for me to feel as good about him as I did just a couple weeks ago. So James Conner trending down in the sense that he's still usable, but you have to temper those expectations. And on Sunday, he ended up with 44 yards And that would have netted you 7.9 fantasy points on FanDuel. Pittsburgh as a whole just isn't looking right.